The South Korean Defense Ministry says North Korea has fired several short-range projectiles. They say the missiles originated from Wonsan toward what South Korea calls the East Sea, which is the Sea of Japan. The response comes hours after the UN Security Council voted to impose strong new sanctions on Pyongyang. North Korea has fired several short-range projectiles from the vicinity of Wonsan City towards the East Sea. South Korea's military is continuously monitoring and tracking while maintaining readiness. Harry Fawcett reports now from Hiarizumi in Japan. Well, in that news conference, the Ministry of Defense in South Korea simply saying a number of projectiles had been fired into the sea off the eastern coast of the Korean Peninsula. However, local media in South Korea are reporting a little bit more fully. Uh, they do sometimes get briefings from unnamed military officials. They're talking about a range of apparently 100 to 150 kilometers. Various numbers have been mentioned, six or eight to nine projectiles. Unclear, it seems, at this stage whether they were short-range missiles or perhaps from a multi-rocket launch system, such as was unveiled by the North Korean military in a major parade in October in Pyongyang last year. Uh, un it's understood analysis is underway on that point. The Ministry of Defense is saying that its military remains uh, in a heightened state of readiness, watching out for any further actions by its counterparts in North Korea. We are coming into a period of annually heightened tensions between North and South because there are military exercises due to get underway in the next few days between US and South Korean forces on the Korean Peninsula. This year it's expected they're going to be a lot bigger than usual. There are reports that they might, might include uh, rehearsals for a preemptive strike against North Korean nuclear facilities. North Korea has already come out against those sorts of reports saying it reserves the right to attack South Korean seats of government. So we do expect a round of heightened tensions. This is the first North Korean reaction to this UN Security Council passage, the resolution passage. Uh, it may well be that there is more to follow in the days and weeks to come. Well, as we mentioned, this follows the United Nations Security Council vote to impose the toughest sanctions on North Korea in two decades. Our diplomatic editor, James Bays, has more. It is so decided. Almost two months after North Korea carried out its latest nuclear test, the UN Security Council finally gave its response. Please raise their hands. A unanimous vote in favor of the toughest sanctions resolution yet. As the resolution that we have adopted today underscores, virtually all of the DPRK's resources are channeled into its reckless and relentless pursuit of weapons of mass destruction. The North Korean government would rather grow its nuclear weapons program than grow its own children. The fact North Korea defied the international community with the launch of a satellite during the negotiations over this resolution may have helped persuade the Chinese to agree to these new extensive measures. The text of the resolution, which is almost 20 pages long, was discussed in numerous meetings between the US and China. Some parts are clearly directed at the North Korean leadership, among the luxury goods banned, aquatic recreational vehicles, equipment like jet skis, and also snowmobiles. But despite the agreement on the resolution, China is still strongly opposed to US plans to deploy a high-altitude missile defense system known as THAAD in South Korea. All parties concerned should avoid actions that will further aggravate the tension on the ground. China opposes the deployment of the THAAD anti-missile system on the Korean peninsula because such an action harms the strategic security interests of China and other countries of the region and goes against the goal of maintaining peace, security and stability of the peninsula. There are now two important questions. The provisions of this resolution go further than before but will it be properly implemented? And how will the North Koreans react? In the past, when they've been punished by the UN Security Council, it's only provoked them to take further action. James Bays, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.